Hello Gemini and welcome to your love forecast for June 2018. I felt really guided to use the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue as I am the rest of the signs for this month. I will leave my links down below to Patreon. I would really appreciate it if you liked, shared, subscribed, commented, and also go on Patreon and also my Instagram and Facebook so that way you guys can keep up with everything that I'm putting out there if you enjoy what I put up. Also, there was one other thing I was going to say. If you guys would like any other readings, that just let me know. But right now I'm just doing general and romance for now. I call on my guides and your guides and all beings of light to assist me with this reading and that everyone watching this gets a clear and accurate message for them. So I'm just going to be shuffling and thinking of the energies as these videos will be shorter just to make sure that you guys are, like I said, watching this and I'm not making these just for, you know, to waste time. <laughs> I just want to make sure you guys are enjoying these. Okay. I'm waiting for two more to surface up. you guys would like a private reading again my links will be down below I have discount codes and also I have my readings pretty budget friendly right now because I do know budget's always important this card came out again and this is in reverse and this is healing family issues so again you do not want to no, it's going to be a different message than the other ones. But Spirit is telling me with you guys in this particular card in reverse is that you don't want your, is what they're telling me, those experiences that you've already healed to not be forgotten about. Because what's going to happen is that you're going to want to maintain these skills and these intuit intuitive hits through this month and I'm not saying you're going to have family issues I'm not going to say that you're going to have partner issues but again you want to be very aware of what you've been through so that you have the tools you need in order to gain success this month in your love life this was n nor up or down so again I feel like a lot of us want to find a soulmate but again a lot of us don't want to put that label on someone to scare them away or even draw us away from the actual right partner. So this month you're wanting to investigate. You want to really, again, be aware of what you've been through and look for signs, look for awareness, and also be open-minded for any kind of soulmate. You're not just, you know, saying I need a soulmate or that I'm looking for a certain type. You're open to finding a soulmate or true love or anything that is healthy for you and what will benefit you in the present moment attraction is upright so again i feel like this month you're going to be attracting new energies in your love life whether you're in a relationship or you're searching for a relationship you're going to be really present as this card depicts that she's very aware of what's around her she is really taking in all senses so that she can be what spirit's showing me healthy and her chakras so that she is not blocking or causing illness and causing more what spirit's telling you more problems than there is in reverse let go of control issues so with this card being in reverse i feel like a lot of us have let go of control issues because again we're being open-minded but i do feel like you are on your guard about other people having control issues in your love life you don't want this you're saying no you're putting that boundary up this month that you're not going to allow someone to say you need control issues or I need control issues for this relationship to stay where it's at. You're, you're very open is what I'm feeling from these cards. I do hope this makes sense. I'm wishing you guys a great month. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave them down below and many blessings.